Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. It seems like it's been a long time since we talked about celebrities, so let's talk about it. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite have a huge agenda for all of you. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Madonna was recently featured in Vanity Fair. And, as the grand priestess of the music industry, was celebrated by basically m***ing Christianity. On the cover of Vanity Fair's icon issue, Madonna is depicted as the Virgin Mary. This is nothing new, Madonna has been doing this for decades, her name is a literal reference to the Virgin Mary. However, this photo shoot takes symbolism further. In Christian imagery, the Virgin Mary is sometimes portrayed as sorrowful and in tears, with seven swords piercing her heart. These swords represent the seven sorrows of Mary, sad events that marked her life, i.e. the crucifixion of Jesus. With all of that being said, is this image of the Grand Priestess of the Industry cosplaying the Virgin Mary blasphemous? Check out this next picture before you decide. This picture recreates the Last Supper, with Madonna playing the role of Jesus. She's surrounded by 11 disciples, why not 12? And they're all women. Well, the second one from the left appears to have a hairy chest, so, oh my god. If you look closely, Madonna is actually standing on the table, and she made a mess underneath her. In short, this is all about desecration. In this picture, Madonna holds hands with some dude wearing a dress. The message is, Madonna's true religion is the <laughs> Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. As usual, the one I sign was all over the world last month, constantly reminding us, that the occult elite controls all facets of mass media, and the celebrities it creates. Here is a small fraction of the one-eye signs that popped up in the past weeks. Cho Gu Soon plays for the South Korean national soccer team. Then, he went viral on social media because of his good looks. It did not take long before Vogue made him hide one eye using a soccer ball. The message is, we recognized his star potential, and we recruited him. Years ago, I've published a video about a Paramore music video that was blatantly about Monarch programming. In that video, I've pointed out that Hailey Williams does the one eye sign constantly. And recently, Williams released a new album, and it 100% revolves around the one eye sign. The cover of Hailey Williams' album, Pedals for Armor, emphasizes one of her eyes in a very clever and creative way. But wait, maybe the cover has nothing to do with the one eye sign. Maybe it's just art that I'm too dumb to get. Let's look at another pic from the album. A big fat unmistakable one eye sign. Fortnite is played by millions of children around the world. Promo material of the video game's latest season heavily revolves around the one eye sign. The message is, the occult elite is definitely not ignoring video games in its quest for total media control. Time and time again, VigilantCitizen.com has proven that luxury brands are 100% on board with the occult elite symbolism and sick agendas. And Gucci keeps releasing highly symbolic and highly questionable material. Everything about this picture from Gucci's Cosmogony campaign is m The m checkerboard pattern floor, the 90 degrees position of the model's feet, the white gloves, the arch, and the two pillars. In short, Gucci is paying homage to its occult elite owners. 
Gucci's Ha 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 campaign featured Harry Styles looking like some weirdo who stands around while wearing a t-shirt with a teddy bear on it. And, for no reason at all, there's a baby crib mattress in the background. Why? Why is there so much emphasis on that toddler mattress? Why do they insist on being creepy with kitty stuff? There's a new lounge in Dubai, and it's very cool and trendy. The name is, Illuminati. The logo is, the occult elite's favorite symbols. Located at Vihab Tour Hotel, Illuminati is touted as UAE's first luxury experiential lounge. I guess the experience revolves around a bunch of douchebags taking selfies in a setting that regurgitates the rituals and symbols of the occult elite. The city of Boston recently unveiled a sculpture dedicated to Martin Luther King. Its name is Embrace Boston. Despite its name, nobody embraced this thing. Some claim that it looks like a p while others say it looks like a turd. No matter on which side of this debate you side with, this thing actually embraces an important aspect of the elite's agenda. Last year, I posted the 1963 list of communist goals, which describes how to destroy a nation from within. Here are two of these goals. 22. Continue discrediting American culture by degrading all forms of artistic expression. An American communist cell was told to eliminate all good sculpture from parks and buildings, substitute shapeless, awkward and meaningless forms. 23. Control art critics and directors of art museums. Our plan is to promote ugliness, repulsive, meaningless art. This is what the sculpture is truly about. This is a screenshot of a Google search. We are living in an age of universal deceit, where basic truths are repressed and outright lies are propagated. Barcelona's New Year 2023 celebration featured some fireworks and illuminated. At one point, the head of Baphomet hovered over the city for a couple of minutes as flames rose from underneath. Who doesn't want to start a new year with some hellish satanic symbolism? One thing we've learned in the past years is that mass media has a sweet spot for Satanism. Here's yet another news article that celebrates young people becoming Satanists while portraying their religions as a fun activity for smart people with absolutely nothing dark about it. This is all about normalizing the occult elite's true religion, which is 100% dark and 100% evil. Anyway, special thanks to everyone who sent in pics. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.